Uh, Iran's culture is really a rich culture. And when it comes to food, it seems that our ancestors took a lot of things into consideration. For us, it's not only the taste, but also how uh, the food looks like that makes uh, all the difference. What we're going to try today is a combination of, of colors and uh, divine taste. Uh, I hope that you stay with us. We're going to have a great time eating DZ. I will explain what it is when I get there. And uh, I hope that your mouth is with old water. Stay with us. Stay tuned, and I'm sure you're going to enjoy. Thank you. You will not have seen enough in Iran if you do not pay a traditional tea house a visit. And that will not have become complete if you do not try DZ. What is DZ? Let's find out. It's a delicious Iranian food, but without further ado, let's get introduced to it. We're gonna go to a great place that dates back to 100 or 150 years ago. Let's go. Before we get to the good stuff, I mean DZ, which uh, you're gonna be introduced to, uh, let's talk about the architecture and where this place was, uh, when this place was founded. It goes back to 72 years ago in the Qajarid era. Uh, tea houses back then were very in and people uh, came here all the time. Now this tea house has kept its traditional style and architecture. So if you look, at, look around, you can see the, uh, the touch of Qajari architecture uh, in the surroundings. Stick with us. We'll get, tell you more about this place. This place, as a national heritage, uh, doesn't owe its fame only to its architecture. I can say that your time is very, very important to the staff and personnel. And to do that, well, they, they serve you a free of charge glass of tea, as you can see, and uh, an, a traditional Iranian sweet, which is made of dough and sugar mixed with water and honey. Uh, as, as your food is getting ready, you can definitely enjoy this refreshment and have a lot of fun. All right, I'm gonna wait for my DZ to come and I'm gonna have a little bit of this. Let's talk about what we have on the table. What we see here might be a little different from what's known in Western countries. For example, this is a masher, but not the kind of masher that you see every day. We use this to mash meat, potatoes, beans, and other stuff that we have in DZ with. This are, these are called pliers that we use to torture people with. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine, I'm, I'm joking, it wasn't really that, it's, it's used to, uh, take the DZ uh, uh, dish like that, the pot like that, and then, let me show you what I mean. And what happens is that you, uh, well, you take it like this, and then you put it on the bowl. You have to extract the, the meat water from what we have in the meat right here. So the pliers are used for that. As you can see, this is a copper bowl, and the copper bowl uh, will make uh, the whole food taste uh, a lot more delicious, honestly. I hope that you will get a chance to eat food in these. It's really beautiful. Well, we're done with serving the meat water in a bowl. Uh, a problem that a lot of people have with Iranian dishes, with any dish they don't understand, they don't know, is they don't know how it's served. So basically what happens here is we uh, cut the bread into smaller pieces and we do what we call tiliding, which is when you <laughs> put the bread in the meat water like that and uh, you just mix them around in there so that 
it is soaked with the mead water. That is, the, the mead water is, is made up of um, black pepper, black pepper, fat, and uh, tomato paste. All right, I'm gonna give him a good whirl in here. All right, let's, let's add more in there. All right, okay. So uh, this is what you do, and then you bring this closer to you. Now, let's talk about this. This is the exciting part. Well, let's talk about the content of what is in this uh, pot. We have, uh, we have a tomato, a tomato piece. We have uh, meat, beans, peas. Can you see? I hope, I hope that you can see. There are beans, peas, there's fat, there's meat, and um, it's cooked right in here on fire. And it's super hot right now. And what happens is that I'm gonna use this, uh, well, a little strange masher. And what happens is that I have to grind the meat until it flattens out. Uh, I might create a little bit of a noise, but who cares? So you have to do this until it's fully mixed and flattened out. And this might take up to like two or three minutes, but I promise it's worth it. So you have to do it until it's completely mashed, it's completely ground. We're done with it. We're done with it, we're almost done with it. Super excited right now because the, the meat and the potato and the tomatoes are all mashed and the bread and the meat water are pretty much mixed up. Now, this is a fatty food and it shouldn't be served alone. So on the side, we got the pickles. We'll show you a closer look later, a closer peek at it. And then we got yogurt with rose petals on it and it has to be mixed like everything else. Dizzy wouldn't be dizzy if it weren't served with things on the side. Well, actually, it's quite a fatty food, so it's best served with pickles, yogurt, and of course, Iranian traditional duk. Now, I'm done with the mixing and the mashing. Let's see what happens next. What happens next is, uh, oh, uh, what happens next is that I have to empty this in here. Yep. This is the product of all the mashing that I did. Voila. You can see how it looks like. I, I'm gonna taste how it tastes like. And uh, this is how it's done. Well, you get a spoonful of this. Then you go in uh, for the pickle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, this place might be the very few places that came first and stayed first on top. The food is honestly so delicious. And then you can save this for last or you can have some bites at it. You take a piece of the bread and with your spoon, you take a bit of the mashed meat, which is called gusht kubide, and then salut. This place rose to the top and has stayed there because of the quality of its ingredients. All the ingredients come from, uh, from uh, Moran, the meat, uh, which has the best meat in the whole uh, country. And the dishes come from Kerman and Esfahan, designed by artists of, of, of the genre. And uh, it's only perfect. I hope you can make it here, stay with us, and our next video, I hope, will be greater than this. Take care.